I'm here today at my listing. This is going to be just a quick look at the kitchen renovation of the, the paint. Uh, the cabinets that you'll see in the walkthrough video have all been updated with this clean paint. Everything looks so much better. Kudos to the seller. Uh, we've reduced the price. The price is now $55,000 and it is going to be open tomorrow, Sunday, August 15th, 1 to 4. It'll be nice and cool in here, and I invite you to come. And one more update. The seller has also freshened up the bathroom from the video you're about to see. You'll see that when I filmed this, he had a full-size washer dryer in there. That's been taken out so that there's plenty of room. A stackable would be ideal right here. You've got hookups here and a lot more room. This is a good size bath. Signing out. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow at my open house, Sunday, August 15th from 1 to 4. Good morning, I'm Jacqueline with Absolute Realty and I am standing out front of my latest listing. It's here at the Auburn Hills Mobile Estates on Grass Valley Highway in Auburn, space number 90, just listed at 59.5. This is a champion 1974 two bedroom, one bath mobile home. It is uh, pretty clean. Nice uh, entrance. We're going to go in through the deck here. I wanted to show you they just did the black top here on this uh, over uh, underneath the carport. It's almost a two car covered for sure two to three cars in the driveway. Um, nice community. This is quaint. I think there's 35 homes here. I sold that over there about five years ago, the green one. And then this one across the street I sold about three years ago, and now I'm listing this. I've uh, sold a couple other ones in here as well as showed many homes here, so I'm quite knowledgeable about this community. It's a quaint community. It's very centrally located, and uh, we're going to walk through it right now. What's great about this property, first of all, let's talk about the space rent in this community. This community has... I think the lowest space rent in this region. We're at $5.69 a month here for this particular unit. If you're interested in uh, qualifying to live in this park, you need to show income three times the space rent. So in this case, about $1,700 plus another $100 for what they estimate the utilities to be per month. So we're going to open this gate here. So if you have a little dog or something, it would be great because he could stay in here. Um, you've got some privacy here with these uh, shade covers. Let's uh, walk on down here. I want to show off this really nice deck. Uh, not deck, I'm sorry. The shed. There's two sheds here. One is this sort of tough shed like really big. There's no electricity in here from what I can tell. But it's pretty new. Great storage. Let's take a look at this deck again from this area. This home has a swamp cooler that's only going to need some new pads and a little bit of um, um, conditioning for the new season. And uh, a very big air conditioner that seems to cool very well. The seller was very comfortable with the wall AC she had. There's a little area back here to do a garden. This is what the neighbor's done. It's cute. Um, over there is some more of the community in the back, closer to the Grass Valley Highway behind there. And then we're going to walk around. This is nothing to write home about. Um, but you've got a little area back here and another big shed. This is a pretty good sized shed. It's uh, older. Oh, there's the door. So, uh, you know, this, is this is live. So, you get what you get here when you're filming live. Um, probably needs the floor needs to be a little bit updated um, with new flooring or just a new board in there. What's nice is there's this redwood tree. Now, it's pretty close to the awning cover here. Um, the neighbors, really nice. Nice uh, landscaping. So, it's a 
it's just nice to come out this area. This would be your entrance if when you come in, when you park your car. Back entrance here. Let's walk back around here and we'll go in through the front entrance. So again, about this community, it's centrally located. Um, hospitals, retail, big box. Um, they've got a clubhouse here where they play cards. There's no pool here. And um, let's go inside here. This home was listed with the previous broker the last month. So we're going to, I'm going to give it my best shot to get this sold for the seller. Let's walk in here. We're going to come into the living room through the two, through the slider, which we just walked through there. We're going to uh, walk into this kitchen. Now it's a good sized kitchen. I mean, we've got a table, big round table here. Um, We've got the cabinets, probably could put some new hardware on there and, and, a, and a new color and really have these look really good. They actually are in good shape. They just need new coat of paint. We've got gas, natural gas, and refrigerator would go home with the property as well as the microwave and coffee maker if that's something you need. They do have the original windows in here, so they're the rollouts. And the living room is pretty spacious. I'd say it's a medium-sized living room. What's nice is it has these vaulted ceilings, so it's not, and the ceiling's a lot taller than the eight feet. I think that's another foot. So that just gives a sensation of having a lot more space. And the swamp cooler, like I said, is going to need to be just conditioned with some new pads and some oiling up of the, the, the motor. I'm told it works great. She just preferred to use the AC. We've got a newer Coleman heater here. Certainly not the original. This is the second of two bedrooms. You could definitely fit a comfortable twin in here. The closet is not... Let's open it up this way. Get my finger stuck in there, but we do have a closet. And we've got some built-ins here. You can definitely put in a twin. If you put in a double, it would be real tight, but you could put it underneath this window and be able to get out on this side. So that could definitely work if you wanted to put a double in there. And we're going to head on down. Let's see the master first. The master's got a lot of natural light. It's a lot bigger. We've got um, the windows going in the, I mean, sorry, the lights going on the wall. And the, the flooring's pretty good. I mean, it's it's been updated. We've got double closet doors here. It's great. There's some carpet that is on the floor, covering the floor. Pretty good sized closet. So this is this is a good size, good size bedroom for the master bedroom. Ceiling looks real clean. In fact, I'll take a look when I go back out and show you the roof line of this house. I asked the seller, they said they did um, maintenance on this in regular intervals, and the whole house for that matter, and the roof looks really clean. So let's go in the bathroom. So the bathroom is multi-purpose bathroom. We've got the laundry center and the full bath, Then be prepared. This is a real wild bathroom enclosure, uh, shower enclosure, but you know, with the right paint color, you could really, you know, explore making that a little more uh, in tune. It's the light blue that really sets it off. I think a, a nice tan wouldn't be so bad, especially with a curtain like this. I mean, you just keep it closed, but it's very functional. A very solid bathtub and very good size shower. So they also have those uh, companies that come out and paint this for a couple hundred dollars. So that's an option for you. There's a newer vanity, the commode, we have full washer and dryer. Door doesn't open all the way because of that, but it does shut completely. Well, it does. It did. So we'll have to adjust that. And again, we're on live camera here. And here's some uh, space for your linens, linen closet here in the, the bathroom. So pretty good. It's all right. Let's walk out here. Now, this is the carport door. 
exit. There's a nice little landing area here. You can put a chair if you want to sit out here and get a different look and sit and look at the uh, redwood tree and this beautiful landscape of the, the neighbors or just hang out and take a look at um, your, back, your back area. Let's go look at that roof line. Okay, so I'm going to start wrapping up this video. I would love to show you this home. Make sure that you do meet the income qualifiers, which are that you have income of $1,700 a month or more coming into your household, and that you have cash. There's no financing in this mobile home, mostly because of the age, but also because it's on a lot in land that is owned by the park, so it's leased land. There's the roof line, very clean. Um, looks like they've done recent maintenance. They certainly did fresh paint on here. I failed to mention the fresh paint. It's just a real clean house. So I'll be signing out here from Auburn Hill Mobile Estates. They're also repaving, uh, repaving the whole park, all the blacktops. So that's just a, a real feature. Just a beautiful, cute little small community. Meet all your new neighbors, and you can retire here and call this home. Signing out from Space 90 here at Auburn Hill Estates. And I'm Jacqueline with Absolute Realty. Give me a call. My number is 916-472-5763. And I'd love to show you this home today. Bye now.